So people often ask us if steel toe boots are heavier than their composite counterparts. And while the answer is yes, it's not necessarily because of the steel toe. The steel toe is usually only adding a couple of ounces to the overall weight of the boot. The majority of a boot's weight is made up of its sole and the materials that it's made out of. Now, while a couple ounces doesn't sound like much, over the course of a 12-hour workday, those few extra ounces will definitely start to take a toll on your feet. So if you know you're going to be on your feet all day, it may be worth considering a composite alternative. Now, if you're just a big believer in steel toe boots, it's probably worth considering boots with lighter, more advanced materials to help shave off some extra ounces. The most important factor when buying protective footwear is to make sure your feet are protected. The OSHA standard for protected footwear is 29 CFR 1910.136, which allows employers to use protective footwear constructed to the specifications detailed in the consensus standard ASTM F2413. This means that the boot is tested to withstand impact and compression specifications. To find this, all you have to do is look at your boot's label for the ASTM F2413 marking. I hope you found this information helpful, and for more information on protective footwear, visit the Granger Know-How website.